गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेरी वेल एंड टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज फॉर सिक्स ऑफ अप्रिल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर लेट्स सेशन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज द थीम ऑफ द वर्ल्ड ऑटिज्म अवेयरनेस डे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी ऑब्जर्व दिस डे एनुअली ऑन सेकेंड ऑफ April and this day advocates for improving the lives of individuals who are with autism and we promote their human rights so it was established by a united nations resolution in the year 2007 and the day raises the public awareness and encourages inclusive actions this year the theme is empowering the autistic voices and this theme emphasizes amplifying the voices of those with autism right basic goal is to ensure that they also enjoy dignity participation and rights on par with the others in the society okay so two things are important when do we observe the world autism awareness day answer is 2nd of april and what was the theme for this year answer is empowering the autistic voices okay it is autistic not autistic now in the next slide we will have some days and themes the first question is Which day is celebrated as the World Theatre Day every year? World Theatre Day is celebrated annually on 27th of March. What is the theme for World Meteorological Day 2024? First of all, we celebrate the World Meteorological Day on 23rd of March every year and this year what is the theme? The theme is at the front line of climate action. Okay, this was the whole theme. third question is what is the theme of world tb day 2024 world tb day is observed annually on 24th of march and what was the theme for this year the theme was yes we can end tb okay which day is celebrated as international day for the elimination of racial discrimination every year this is 21st of march which day is celebrated as world sparrow day every year World Sparrow Day is celebrated on 20 March so as to preserve this species which day is celebrated as International Day of Happiness every year your answer is 20th of March okay next is recently which port in India emerged as the top cargo handling port in India in 2023 to 2024 so Paradeep Port Authority in Odisha surpassed the Deen Dayal Port Authority which is in Kandla as india's top cargo handling major port in 2023-24 so it handles 145.38 mmt of cargo and it registered a 7.4% growth from the previous year it is capable of handling 289 mmt and notably it excels in coastal shipping which handles 59.19 mmt of coastal traffic and it achieves the highest productivity among the major ports it was established in the year 1962 and it becomes india's eighth major port in 1966 and it is now under the ministry of ports okay so paradeep port that lies in odisha emerged as the top cargo handling port in india in 2023 to 24 let's see some of the important toppers that were in news first is Which ministry has consistently ranked amongst the top 10 ministries in grievance redressal assessment index for 2023 to 24? This is the Ministry of Home Affairs. According to a report by Traffic and WWF India, which state has stopped in the illegal trade of shark body parts? This is the state Tamil Nadu. According to a recently released CEEW's report, which of the following states have been placed on the top most position in water management in terms of water management three states were there on the top most position the first one is haryana second is karnataka and the third one is punjab recently who has been honored with the plaque at the jung prajaj renowned as the top of europe this honor has been presented to our javelin thrower neeraj chopra okay who topped the huron india top 100 under 30 list 2023 as the youngest entrepreneur This is Kevalya Vohra. Okay, he has topped this list. As of 
Which country is the top source of steel making, coking coal for India? This is the country Australia. Okay. Judith Suminwa Tuluka, recently seen in the news, became the first woman prime minister of which country? Here, correct answer would be C option that is Congo. She became the first female prime minister of the Democratic Republic of Congo. And with this, she has succeeded Jean Michel Sama Lukande. Okay. So this historic appointment by President Felix fulfilled a campaign promise and uh, talking about Judith Tuluka, she was former planning minister and she assumed the office just a month after Lukondo resigned from this position, which he held for three years. So her appointment marks a significant step towards gender equality and representation in Congo politics, right? So who is the new? And the first woman prime minister of the country Congo answer is Judith Suminwa Tuluka. Now let's see some of the important current affairs regarding first in news. The first question is recently which city is being established by the armed forces as the country's first India's first tri-service common defense station. So this city is Mumbai. Okay. Recently where was the world's first Om shaped temple inaugurated? This temple has been inaugurated in Rajasthan state. Recently, where was the first nuclear energy summit held? Answer is Brussels in Belgium. Recently, which country poised to become the first Southeast Asian country to allow the same sex marriage? This country is Thailand. Thailand is the first Southeast Asian country that allows same sex marriage. Recently, who has become the first person? To reach the point Nemo and what is point Nemo? It is the oceanic pole of inaccessibility in the Pacific Ocean. So the first person to achieve this feat is Mr. Chris Brown. Okay. Next is Hindustan Aeronautics Limited recently delivered two Dornier 228 planes to which country? So India has delivered two Dornier 228 aircraft to the country Guyana as part of a line of credit marking a new phase in their partnership so indian air force dispatched a team to guyana for this delivery and the high commission of india in guyana expressed the enthusiasm stating that it marks the start of a significant chapter in their bilateral relations and this initiative underscores india's commitment to strengthen the ties with guyana through strategic collaboration right so hindustan aeronautics uh, limited has recently delivered two Dornier 228 planes to the country Guyana. Now let's have a look at some of the important international current affairs. Recently which European Union country became the largest to legalize recreational use of cannabis? This is Germany. Germany is now the largest European Union nation and uh, it has legalized the recreational cannabis which faces the mixed reactions. So despite opposition, the law allows the adults who are above 18 to purchase 25 grams of cannabis and go grow three plants at home. And this marks a significant shift in drug policy, which aligns Germany with the progressive cannabis laws in Europe like Malta and Luxembourg. Uh, the Netherlands on the other side has tightened the regulations to curb the cannabis tourism, right? Here correct answer is Germany. Recently, which state emerged as the largest exporter of electronic goods contributing 30% to the country's total electronic goods export in financial year 24. This is the state Tamil Nadu. Basi Rao Diumai Fai, recently seen in the news, became the new president of which country? He is the new president of the country Senegal. Luis Montenegro, recently seen in the news, became the new prime minister of which country? He became the new prime minister of the country Portugal. Recently, Simon Harris has been elected as the youngest Prime Minister of which country? He has been elected as the youngest Prime Minister of the country, Ireland. Okay. RDC Limited recently won the Scotch ESG Award 2024 comes under which ministry? So, RDC Limited is an entity of Ministry of Power and recently it clinched the Scotch ESG Award in Renewable Energy Financing because of its dedication to sustainable financing and driving the shift towards renewable energy. So as a pivotal player in India's clean energy transition, REC spearheads numerous sustainable projects and it engages in discussions with the developers in across various green sectors. So the Scotch Award highlights the 
organization's commitment to environmental social and the governance factors which are crucial for india's sustainable future okay so rec limited has recently won the scotch esg award and it works under ministry of power okay now let's have a look at some of the important ministries that came into news the first one is recently which ministry has introduced the cinematograph rules 2024 here your answer would be ministry of information and broadcasting recently which ministry has notified the captive elephant transfer or transport rules 2024 this is ministry of environment forest and climate change recently which ministry launched the electric mobility promotion scheme 2024 Answer would be Ministry of Heavy Industries. Ministry of Tribal Affairs laid the foundation stone of Centre for Preservation and Promotion of Tribal Culture and Heritage in which Indian state? This is the state Jharkhand. Recently, Ministry of Earth Sciences inaugurated the first phase of atmospheric research test bed in Central India in which Indian state? So, Ministry of Earth Sciences has inaugurated the first phase of atmospheric research test bed in Central India in the state of Madhya Pradesh. Okay. Shigmo festival recently seen in the news is celebrated in which indian state so spring has sprung in the goa state and it ignites the vibrant shigmo festival which is celebrated by the konkan tradition so it bids farewell to winter and it welcomes the spring warmth so here correct answer is goa shigmo festival is celebrated in the state of goa okay now let's see some of the important festivals that came into news The first question is, Gorsam Kora Festival 2024 recently seen in the news is celebrated in which Indian state? So Gorsam Kora Festival is celebrated in the state of Arunachal Pradesh. Which district of Madhya Pradesh recently organized a banana festival? This is Burhanpur. Okay, Burhanpur district of Madhya Pradesh has recently organized a banana festival. Also, Burhanpur is known as the banana city of Madhya Pradesh. Nagi Bird Festival recently seen in the news is associated. with which indian state so nagi bird festival is celebrated in bihar ruzoma orange festival recently seen in the news is celebrated in which indian state your answer is naga land and last is mamani ethnic food festival which was seen in the news is associated with which state or the union territory answer is ladakh okay who won the 56th national kho kho championships 2023 to 2024 here correct answer would be maharashtra and this is the 56th national kho kho championship which saw maharashtra dominating both men's and the women's category at delhi's karnal singh stadium and indra gandhi indoor stadium so the maharashtra men's team won against indian railways in a thrilling finals while the women's team led by sampada morya triumphed over the airport authority of india and this championship featured 37 teams in each category which is organized by the kho kho federation of india okay so maharashtra has won the 56th edition of national kho kho championship by defeating the indian railways let's see some of the important winners that came into news the first one is nahid divesha who recently won two gold medals in the indian masters national badminton championships belongs to which indian state recently she won the two gold medals in the indian masters national badminton championship and she is from maharashtra who won the able prize 2024 sometimes called the nobel prize of mathematics first of all able prize is given in the field of mathematics and this year the winner is michel tala grand okay recently which country won the 2024 icc under 19 world cup answer is australia which player won the title of men singles india open 2024 this is shi yu ki shi yu ki has won the title of men singles india open and who is the winner for the women singles india open this is tai zu ying fine recently who won the saraswati samman 2023 for his work rodra satvikam here answer would be prabha verma prabha verma has been honored with saraswati samman this year okay a decade of documenting migrant deaths report recently released by which organization here correct answer would be international organization for migration that is d option so it has published this particular report marking 10 years of its missing migrants project which was initiated in 2014 
so key findings reveal that over one third of migrants are from conflict zones and two thirds of the deaths were unidentified so major causes include drowning accident and suffocation so this report has been released by iom that is international organization for migration let's see some of the important organizations that came into news first is one vehicle one fast tag initiative that was recently seen in the news is launched by which organization so it has been launched by the national highways authority of india and the purpose is to boost the adoption of fast tags for toll collection on the national highways and basic aim is to link each vehicle with a single fast tag curbing the misuse of multiple tags per vehicle and this move enhances the toll collection efficiency and it would streamline the process which contributes to smoother traffic flow right so it is the initiative of national highways authority of india which organization has recently conducted the bse expo 2024 answer is broadcast engineering society which organization releases the annual status of education report it was released by ngo pratham foundation okay jobs for resilience report recently seen in the news is released by which organization it was released by world bank which organization recently collaborated with the tamil nadu state forest department for the successful radio calling of nilgiri thar in mukurthi national park so this is the world wildlife fund okay next is one vehicle one fast tag initiative recently seen in the news is launched by which organization just we have talked about it answer would be the national highways authority of india let's see some important initiatives that came into news vocal for local initiative recently seen in the news is launched by which one of the following vocal for local is the initiative of niti aayog she research network in india initiative recently seen in the news is introduced by which organization this is the initiative of university grants commission recently which state government has launched an initiative to support the young entrepreneurs called as am yuva scheme answer would be up bagless school initiative recently seen in the news is introduced by which indian state this is the initiative of madhya pradesh state mukhya mantri kanya samangla yojana recently seen in the news is an initiative of which indian state this is the scheme from up okay last is sanji craft recently got a gi tag belongs to which indian state here answer is a option that is up and now uttar pradesh leads india with the most gi certified products which totals to 69 after the addition of 15 new items and with this up has surpassed tamil nadu because tamil nadu has total 58 gi certified products okay talking about sanji art it originated in mathura in 16th century and it is renowned for intricate designs and spiritual significance it is associated with the mother goddess sanji and the craft involves the mud images crafted into cosmic forms and it originated around krishna temples and is now practiced nationwide okay so sanji craft has recently got the gi tag and it is a product from up so sanji craft has recently got the gi tag and it is from up let's see some of the important states that were in news first is kodai canal solar observatory recently seen in the news is situated in which indian state so first of all why this observatory came into news because it celebrated its 125th year of anniversary and it is an indian institute of astrophysics facility in the state of tamil nadu over centuries it has been pivotal in studying the solar eclipses sunspots and solar flares which is crucial for understanding the sun's impact on earth's atmosphere right so this observatory lies in tamil nadu which is state of india recently witnessed the swell waves here answer would be kerala mataberi pera and pachra recently got a gi tag belongs to which indian state these are the products from tripura and recently they got the gi tag mataberi pera is a kind of sweet dish that is made of milk and sugar and pachra is a kind of textile point kalimbre wildlife sanctuary recently seen in the news is located in which indian state it lies in tamil nadu atur nagaram wildlife sanctuary recently seen in the news is located in which indian state it lies in telangana and last is the chigam national park recently seen in the news is located in which state or the union territory it lies in jammu and kashmir okay so these are the most important current affairs and the news from today and now let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past 2 3 days current affairs 
pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this minus hatsana signing off